Hi guys, well this is not an electronics repair video, this is about the problem that a lot of creators on YouTube are having with something called invalid traffic and I released a video a week ago just over explaining how this is destroying people's revenue. So for those of you who want to see me fix something, well yeah I am going to at least diagnose something and tell you what the problem is, but I'm not fixing any electronics today. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Richard, this is my channel, we're in electronics repair, and I have the same problem that many other creators are facing. We can just put into YouTube, invalid traffic, I have done, and we see all sorts of things, invalid traffic, not again, my rant, invalid traffic borg, you are being robbed, invalid silence, and so on, yeah, and so on. And this literally is killing people's channels. And it's doing so by taking away the revenue, the money they earn from advertising on the channel. The interesting thing about this is that nobody seems to know what's going on. And just as interesting, the big YouTube gurus out there, you know who you are guys, okay. You are not telling anybody either. You guys who are supposed to advise YouTube creators on creating and on, you know, what's happening with their monetization channels. And I can only figure out that's because nobody knows what's going on. Invalid silence. Well, guys, this isn't actually true. So if you don't know me, I am an INTP person. I didn't know I was an INTP till somebody told me. INTP. This is one of the 16 personality types. It stands for introverted thinking perceptive. That means I'm very good at pattern recognition and working out what patterns mean, thinking it through. And I've done that, guys. Okay, I normally do that with electronics, which is why I'm very good at electronic repair and why I'm crap at some things that all the personality types just think are second nature, common sense, yeah, because we're all different. So when I had this problem, I kind of knew in the back of my mind what was going on, but I couldn't figure out a way to prove it. And now I have proven it. So watch this i'm going to tell you now how you can find out if you still have this problem even if your message or threat from youtube has now gone away that you have invalid traffic on your channel you can also see if the problem started a little bit before you really noticed it maybe it's happened in more than one stage and now you've really noticed it okay so to understand what's wrong we need to understand a little bit about how creators, myself and probably most of you guys watching, make money from YouTube. If you're not used to the channel, you probably don't know, but I normally work things out on an ordinary piece of paper. Okay, so how do we make money from YouTube? Well, we make money from advertising on the channel, basically. Now, some people think that the more subscribers you have, the more money you make. That is actually not true. The factors that drive the amount of money you make are two things. One of them is the number of views. This is how many people viewed your videos on any given day. Some channels can have millions of subscribers and very low views. Some channels can have tens of thousands of subscribers and very high views. But it's the views that drive your advertising, okay? The other thing that drives it is the amount you are paid per thousand views. Now, this is called RPM. And it's actually revenue per meal. Meal is like mile spelt with two L's. At first when I saw all this, I thought revenue per mile, what's that, yeah? Meal is just French for 1,000. So RPM is revenue, that's what you earn per 1,000 views, okay? Where does the revenue come from? It comes from the advertisers who advertise in your video. And the amount the advertisers pay will vary. It will vary different times of year, okay? For example, I'll give you a very good 
case where you would see that. Beginning of January, okay, people making cooking channels and such like are very likely to see a drop in their views because people were making party food before and now they're not, so they're not really interested as much. People who are advertising fitness related stuff, yeah, well, we all make New Year resolutions and a lot of us want to get fit. So people with those channels have noticed an increase in views. And this will apply to the advertisers. The advertisers who are advertising food and such what will be few and far between in January and the advertisers who want to sell you gym equipments will be many more. So depending on the channel and the niche you are in, the RPM will vary at different times of year. The other reason the RPM will vary is in the niche you are in, regardless of the time of year. So some niches generate more income, or rather the advertisers in some niches will pay more than in others. So for example, if you are making videos about financial services or lifestyle, the chances are that your advertisers will pay a lot of money to get into your videos and other channels in your niche. And if you are doing gaming, well, nothing wrong with gaming, but most gamers are fairly young and don't have a lot of disposable income, so your channel will get less. The amount of money that YouTube charge the advertiser is called CPM. This is the cost per 1,000 views. So they will charge an advertiser so much money per 1,000 views. Now we all know that out of that money, YouTube take 45% of the cost, that's their cut, and you get 55% as a creator. But if you've ever looked at the stats, actually you don't get 55%. Now, the reason you don't get 55%, according to YouTube at least, is because some of the advertising put into your video is never viewed. Okay, so you can't say that for every thousand videos the advertiser paid for, that went into your videos, all thousand were clicked on or watched, yeah? So that's why. Well, the simple fact is, so if you want to work out your revenue, what it should be, is how many views you got multiplied by your RPM, okay? If you want to see how much money YouTube are charging the advertisers, it's the views times CPM, yeah? Quite simple that, hope you followed it nicely. So, CPM and RPM are set by YouTube. We can't really affect the amount they're charging for the advertisers and we can't really affect the amount of our videos that show adverts that people actually watch the adverts. But we can affect the views. So we publish more videos, we make better videos, we can affect how many people are watching our videos. Yeah. Okay, so that's the basis of how it works. Now, if you're watching, you will have a problem, same as me. And that will be that at some point, maybe earlier in the year, in my case from the 1st of September, some people in August, all of a sudden your revenue dropped. Mine by about 50%, some people by 80 or 90%. It affects different channels in different ways. But we all have the same problem, the revenue is down. In some cases, devastatingly so. If we know that the views are up or they're just as good as they were, yeah, views haven't really changed, we can see that. The only reason that could have happened is if that's changed. Yeah. So if, for example, you were getting $10 per 1,000 views and now you're getting $2 per 1,000 views for the same amount of views, you'll have 80% less money. Yeah. How do we find out if that's changed? And not only that, but how do we find out if that has changed because this has changed? So advertisers are now paying less money to advertise on channels in your niche. How can we prove it? Well, this comes down to the silence and YouTube not telling us anything, but they are telling us. It's there to see. We just need to think about it and know where to look. Okay. I'm going to show you now on my channel and everybody else with this problem. If you want to, go and do the same on your channel and see if you have exactly the same problem that I have because I know what the problem is now. 
okay let's do it okay so here is my channel the analytics you can see this is for 90 days so I've got 1.1 million views in 90 days 175,000 hours of watch time it's shown us that the views are about the same as the previous 90 days the watch hours are a little bit less than the previous 90 days subscribers up 25 percent up on the previous 90 days and you can see here clearly from the start of september there that my views come up and they're going up yeah after the first of september the lows i'm getting because days do vary are about the same as the highs i was getting through the summer and later in the month it's climbing and that's normal for my niche electronic repair usually in the summer people just want to go to the beach yeah so this is absolutely normal so this is my revenue graph i'm publishing videos you can see july august quiet time of year for me and then start of september well you can see my view started to increase but on the first of september just in this little gap here my revenue suddenly dropped okay you can see that the revenue dropped but we can see that the views went up yeah so all of a sudden i'm getting more views on less money that tells us that the rpm must be lower okay now at one time if we went into revenue we could actually see buttons which said rpm and cpm we don't see them anymore and there must be a reason for that i noticed quite maybe around the first part of the year i can no longer see the rpm and cpm but it is there you just need to know where to find it and i'm going to show you where to find it so if you go to revenue on your channel and you go to your top earning videos okay top earning content you go to see more this will show you a graph so we have estimated revenue by content and you can see it varies on different days and you can also see from here that different videos have a different cpm so this video has a cpm of 13 dollars 13.44 that one is 23 that one is 13 that is 25 that is 36 so this is the amount that youtube charge advertisers to put adverts into that video and it varies but what we do see is the average so on my channel on average the advertiser paying $17.41 per thousand clicks across all the videos that i have ever produced okay now the graph is showing us the estimated revenue by content but we can click on that and look for something else so we can tell it to show us the playback cpm so we can see the cpm this is how much the advertisers are paying per video and we can see a nice graph now let's put this into the last year okay we're in the last year and this graph will show you the amount of money your top videos made on that day so i can see on this day for example that pure electronics repair were methodical fault finding the blue one made me 32 dollars all you need to know about crowbar maybe nothing because that's the purple one it wasn't published at this time these are my top videos for the last 365 days and various other ones maybe five dollars six dollars on that day and if i move along you can see on this day i published the crowbar video it made me 669 you can see they've all made a fairly similar amount and if we go up to this date for example for whatever reason all you need to know about crowbar made me 47 dollars so you can go along this graph and see what the videos are making you but that's not what we want to look at what we want to look at is the rpm and the cpm so if we go to here this is the first metric on the graph okay and we want to go to more metrics and what i'm interested to look at is the playback based cpm okay this is how much the advertiser paying per thousand 
views based on the playback. And the second thing I want to look at, if I go to metrics, is the RPM. This is how much I earn, okay? So there's the RPM. And this graph tells us everything we need to know. So if we look back over the last 365 days, you can see the purple line is what the advertisers are paying. Okay, and it does vary as I mentioned. And this is an average across all of my videos, okay? So this scale is from zero to $30, okay? And the green one is the amount I get paid for the same 1,000 views. And this is going from zero to 12, okay? So if you look back to September last year, one year ago, you can see that the green one and the purple one are following each other quite nicely. As the advertisers pay more on the purple, I earn more. And as they pay less, I earn less. This is not earnings for the day. This is earnings per thousand clicks on that day. Okay? And that's going along through December. Then, okay, look. New Year. Advertisers are paying less now. We're straight after Christmas. So, I earn less. Okay? But they correlate. And we can go right through the year and the whole lot correlates. And then in June, okay, the advertisers pay less again. Probably thinking everybody's got an holiday now. They don't want to repair the electronics. And my earnings are down, but they correlate. They're a little bit wider apart now, so I'm earning less of a percentage, but they correlate until August the 29th. And on September the 1st, August 30th, August the 31st, September the 1st and 2nd. Look what's happened. The purple line is still going up. YouTube are charging the advertisers more per thousand clicks to advertise on my channel. But they're giving me much less. Yeah, can you see that? The one day there I actually got more. This is the day I produced my other video asking people to join the channel. Maybe that video was a different topic, but because it was all about the invalid traffic bug, but that's what we have. That's the day I published that video. And that appeared to give me more of a share of the advertising, okay, more like it was. But that's what the problem is, it's this. YouTube are still charging the advertisers as they were, in fact, they're charging them more, and I'm getting less of the money. That's why my revenue is down, like, 60%. Yeah. And I'm sure if you guys do the same thing, now you know where to find it. Into monetization, last 365 days, playback based CPM, RPM by content, both by content. Have a look, guys. And then come back and tell me if YouTube are ripping you off. Okay? So. That's the mystery solved, I think. We don't know. I certainly don't know why YouTube are suddenly paying me less, much less, than they were when they are apparently earning as much as they were before. But there's something suspicious here, yeah? Something fishy going on. Okay, guys, I can't tell you how to fix the problem, but I can tell you how to see what the problem is. So, go away, guys. Do your homework now. Yeah, and let us all know if you have exactly the same problem as me for exactly the same reason. It's clear now then that YouTube were telling us what's going on, always been telling us what's going on. You just weren't looking in the right place. Yeah, that's why it's a silence. It's not, really. Hope you enjoyed that. At least now you know what to look for. And I look forward to seeing you again. Hopefully, I will make some more videos on this topic, even if it's not learning electronics repair. Ciao for now, guys.